Baines, face off that, pass to King, off his skates, rebound, Baines, score, score! Steve Baines gets the pass from Ben King. It's a new challenge for Steve Connell Walchuk. The former NHL forward won a WHL championship coaching the Seattle Thunderbirds four years ago before getting into the scouting game. Now he's back in the WHL at the helm of the Red Deer Rebels, and since arriving in central Alberta, he's been eager to soak it all in. Well, I've had a lot of fun. I mean, as soon as, uh, you know, as, soon as I, I got the position, I started getting back into the, the coaching mindset and uh, taking some of, some of the stuff I've learned from scouting as well as my past in coaching. And, and it was fun to, I guess, get the cobwebs off some of the drills and some of the different stuff that I like to do. And, and, and that's exciting. And since I've got here, it's been, it, it's been fun to just be consumed. Part of his new role in Red Deer, getting to know the talent he gets to work with. But Connor Walchuk isn't interested in overcomplicating things. You, you come out, you, you want to learn their habits, their skill sets, and, you know, and they're trying to teach them my expectations and uh, you know whatever whatever the systems may be and you know hockey's not very very complicated most coaches have very similar hockey system type stuff and that's no different here you know but but you know the way you coach it the way you teach it the way you run practice obviously be a different feel and so they're, they're learning what my expectations are and i'm learning them as well just kind of getting a feel for his coaching style and the way he wants our team to play you know um there's not too much different than what we've been doing in the past but um you know, he still kind of believes in the same things and uh, he wants wants the best out of his players and wants us to compete. So um, still kind of feeling feeling it out, but I think everyone's kind of got a good idea of what uh, how he wants our team to play and how, how he wants us to be on and off the ice. And after a season that saw the Rebels live inside their home arena, their captain Jaden Groob sidelined for much of the campaign due to injury, while any sense of normalcy is a welcome one. Groove, right corner, shoot, scores! Whoa! That was some shot by Jaden Groove. It's kind of nice. Everyone's back at their billets, and uh, you can tell everyone's missed that and having kind of a normal schedule and a normal lifestyle. So, um, you know, for me personally, it's nice uh, being back around the guys and uh, not being on the ice with everyone last year um, for the whole, uh, basically the whole season. So it's nice to be back. Uh, on the ice with the guys and uh, just seeing everyone at the rink again. Change has been the order of the day in Red Deer. Up and down the lineup, the Rebels have added veterans Liam Keeler and Blake Stevenson up front and Calgary Flames camp invitee Connor Unger between the pipes. So far, so good, according to Connor Walchuk. I've been impressed with the team's speed. You know, whether it's a young guy with the speed pushing the veterans with speed, uh, you know, we've got depth throughout the lineup, you know, that we can we can challenge guys. You know, if guys aren't going a certain game, you can, you can uh, make make some changes within a game with guys that are going. So I, I like the depth. I like the team speed. Looks like a pretty exciting group from what we've seen so far in camp and playing with some different guys. So uh, I think just our depth up front will be uh, a big thing for us, and uh, it's looking pretty good on that end. And then even on the uh, defensive side there, getting uh, set off back will be huge and having him back in the on the D there will be a big thing for our team but also uh, to help those younger D-men out for sure. But those younger D-men come with high ceiling, six selected in the first or second rounds of WHL drafts. Kyle Masters was selected by Minnesota this summer. Signs of regeneration and rejuvenation in central Alberta are plain to see. Douglas will come in, cross ice, one-timer, SCORES! Kyle Masters with a one-timer, that's a power play goal, and the Rebels are up 4-2.